Imagine you were in charge of the earth. Imagine this was your planet. You're the king or the queen. And everyone on the planet knows you are, agrees to it. You're the big cheese. To do so, you have to think like a sovereign. You have to think outside of you. And you have to think about the entire species. If you don't have that level of thinking, if you don't have that level of thinking, you will always look at the little problems. You will always look at the symptoms. You will always look at your world as an effect of the cause around you. And to think at the planetary level, which you do in this game called the Game of Planets, dot com, Game of Planets dot com. You think about the resource infrastructure which you're creating, and you're always balancing this desire or need to protect yourself and to put it into your warfare versus your peace and building your infrastructure for the people. And so these two are eternally chasing the resources of the community and the nation and whatever governing body you're looking at. But those two, the community and the nation are two big levels here and then back down to the individual, of course, the family. But we're looking at individual community and nation as systems levels. And we have to look at different systems levels. We can't just look at these things alone anymore because if you're the king or the queen, you're looking at all the levels. You're looking, okay, well, there's all these nations and all these nations have all these communities and all these communities have all these people. And you're trying to figure out the best way to lead them. And so you want to have systems in place that balance the flows that sort of have, it's, a, it's like a whole body, right? Our whole body has a blood system and the blood system is moving all of these different components around. And it, there's a flow. On the outside, you can't see it, but on the inside, you can feel it. And so when you're doing systems design, you want the parts to flow together. They're all functions that are helping out different pieces, but how do they communicate and how do they share information? That's a big thing. So again, if you're thinking from the point of view of being a, the leader of the whole planet, go there, pretend to be the leader. What would you institute? What would you command? How would you command? How would you build your infrastructure? How would you organize everything? That'll jump you to a different level of thinking in regards to how we got to deal with the problem. So that's what Planetary Guardian does. A planetary Guardian is looking at the whole system, many levels, many perspectives, and has a holistic thinking system that is helping them understand how all these pieces come together. But you have to learn that. You have to go through training. And that's what we're about to start. And if you're interested in what I'm talking about, give me a contact.